all right, you asked for it and you didn't get it, <laughs> or at least not what you were expecting. Um, hey, it is something though. You know, at least on Ubers on Lyft usually follows suit in some way, shape or form. So stay tuned. I'm very interested to see how this is presented to the rider. Uh, I'm going to take a ride on the 16th and see what my my bill looks like from Uber and also um, see how they deliver this messaging to riders. Um, you got to be very careful what you wish for. When you ask for extra money, um, you got peanuts here. And at the end of the day, man, everything is going up, not just gasoline. All right. Another driver shared a video, you know, fuel prices, jet fuel prices are going up too. If you're in a tourist market, that could curb traffic to your market. Um, so there's a lot of things going on and you don't want like a little 45 cent surcharge, depending on how Uber presents this to riders. So I know most drivers found it a slap in the face and I, I would think most riders too, because if you look at overall inflation, and what this 45 to 55 cent for rideshare surcharge does for you is really not keeping pace with inflation when we have drivers' rents going up 200 bucks a month, um, grain prices going up 60%. If you just went to buy Lucky Charms, you're an unlucky motherfucker, man. It was 4.89 for a box that used to be 3.69 a box. All right, so Uber surcharge isn't gonna offset that. At any rate, I found a cool app on another page. Um, download this, or, or not an app, it's a website. It's called tipyouintheapp.com. And the guy likes, like me, man, he likes sharing stuff with drivers that'll help him make money. But he actually created a temporary, this temporary fuel adjustment um, thing where you can actually determine what you're making, what you're losing, depending on how many miles you drive. Um, what your cost per fuel is versus January's gas price, how many miles per week. Um, and this, this could be a tool that helps you. As you all know, I've been preaching for a long time. And again, this isn't feasible in every market. I admit, I'm fortunate. I'm in a tourist market. I can set really tight destination arrive by filters and get the two to three, four mile rides that are the only type of rides I want because they're the only rides that really make sense on X and Classic. Now, if you drive XL or better, yeah, longer rides typically are worth it. But again, 85% of the cars on the road are X classic. So that's who I present to primarily. And that's what I do. Um, so again, take a look at that guy's uh, website, tippintheapp.com. I signed up for his newsletter. I actually think um, this is really great what this guy did, this reimbursement calendar. And, uh, and it'll give you some ideas on the rides you want to try to take. Again, this is where acceptance and cancellation rates come into play, man. If you're not accepting rides to be above the threshold to see where they're going. Um, of course, I mean, if you want, you can call riders. It is technically a violation of the terms of service, but Uber and Lyft have been violating the base covenant of independent contract work since day one. Independent contract work, the way it works is you are given the details of a job and the pay up front before you decide if you want to accept it or not. This isn't an after the fact, like what they've been doing with surge, man. You know, you never know what you're going to get. I mean, except for the base minimum surge and that that's great. I don't think drivers are going to bitch about that when they see 650 and the minimum surge and then they drop and they get 1189 for the surge. Again, I think these are really Uber and Lyft fucking with each other and not drivers, not wanting them to know uh, what the end of the ride uh, pay to the driver was. Um, but again, it's sort of like you're going out driving blindly a little. Um, I've figured it out in my market. I mean, when surge is dying or it's capped, um, you're going to get just that minimum surge. And primarily, at least in Vegas, you're, you're never going to get more than it unless it's extremely busy down on Fremont Street. But generally, it's just from the airport where you get the extra bump in surge. But again, um, how do you talk about this with riders? I mean, it's up to you. If you come off whiny and bitchy, yeah, you may get some sympathy, one, two, three dollar tips from people of the like-minded ilk who love bitching about their lot in life and everything's unfair, but you're not going to get real money. You're not going to get big money. The way you get big money is providing a value add to people and giving them some type of reciprocal trade, whether it's a recommendation or in Vegas, we had all these easy pro tips we can share just on how rideshare works. <clears throat> Bear with me guys. I've been on the um, couch since Wednesday. 
um, caught something. It's not COVID according to that test, but also I read the instructions. It's like a 50% accuracy. So if you want to make billions of dollars and not have to be right, develop a COVID test and get our government to drop $50 billion with you. Or you can go into meteorology too. They don't have to be right. And they, they're still on the air every day after telling us if we're going to have freezing rain and it's 78 and sunny and I'm wearing a black full length shirt. <laughs> I digress. Anyway, guys, you got to stay positive. I'm, I went to get gas today. Gas at my gas station anyway dropped by a quarter, um, as did the price of a barrel over the last couple of days. But again, we're not through this yet. And now Uber's thrown this out there, and I believe they said 60 days. Um, they're going to honor this, this surcharge. But it's not a true fuel surcharge. It's a surcharge per trip. And that's not how surcharges work when you're talking about fuel they either work by the gallon or by the mile which is what eats fuel so if you do a 20 mile ride and get 45 cents extra you're not making too much that's what is that two uh, 2.25 cents a mile now if you do a two mile ride you're making 22 and a half cents extra so do the math check out this tip in the app.com and I, I don't know, I signed up for the guy's newsletter I don't know what else he has to offer also if you're in Vegas man Circle K 599 you can get one coffee a day, every day of the month. And you can bring your own refillable cup up to 64 ounces if you can get it to fit in the, the coffee thing. But find some savings. You know, if you do drink coffee, which um, I haven't for a long time, but I'm back on it again because it's cheaper than meth. I mean, let's just face it, be funny, make money.